everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel, A Crafty Poodle Mom. So I am here today to share with you a project share. I hope everyone is having a wonderful summer so far. Um, I've been super duper busy this summer with work and um, family time and trying to balance my personal time, self-care, and I've been crafting here and there. Um, I have two swaps for the summer that I'm still trying to get out. It, this one is for Tara Finch and the other one is for Rhonda. It's a mermaid's uh, swap and so I'm finishing it up today. I'm going to post this video when I know that um, uh, Tara and Rhonda have received it. But this doodle bug is actually going out to Tara. Then she is on YouTube and I will link in the description box below all of her information if you don't already know her she's an amazing crafter super sweet very talented and Tara thank you so much for um, being extra patient with me as I get all of these goodies out to you I wanted to share with you what I created <clears throat> and I feel like there's something missing like I need more <laughs> Um, I sometimes I find that I kind of overthink my process but oh before I jump into the tag let me show you uh, the papers that I used this is the doodlebug design uh, sweet summer um, pack that I picked up from a Jamie's shop and oh my gosh her name I, I remember her name but I forgot her shop but I will link uh, the information down below. I always shop my, for my doodle bug projects from her shop. She's super sweet and a wonderful shipping. And so I picked up the six by six as well as the, the chit chats. Um, and so I used a bunch throughout my project. And then I used a lot of ephemera, odds and ends. And this is what it looks like. Really cute images. Very, very cute. Um, I also used uh, for my base the Recollections uh, Bright cardstock. It matches the Doodle Bug perfectly. And I also used a variety of dies. I used my cat scrappiness dies, the tags, as well as the treat tag die from Jaded Blossom, the scallop caddy die, the bow dies, the heart dies, uh, layer one and two, and this is my favorite Rick Rack Topper die. And so. My, for my first tag, I used the ephemera piece, which is the little ice cream truck, and I layered a couple of hearts in the background using the paper, and this is the little um, chit chat um, odds and ends from the collection, and just added a couple of pieces of bling, and so this is the first one, and I will enclose um, my letter to her on the back, I'll create a little envelope. So that's the first tag. This is the second tag, and these are some flares that I picked up at Michael's um, last year that I had in my stash. So I added, I kind of fussy cut the little cones and I added it to this little sweet little tag here. And uh, when I was at Jamie's shop, I picked up a lot of the uh, little stickers, accompanying stickers. So I added them to the tag as well. I created some bows using the Jaded Blossom bow dies in the little small and the large. And here's a doodle pop, really cute doodle pop that Tara can use in a future project. Um, this is a tag that I created a couple months ago and um, I posted it on my Instagram if you haven't um, already uh, started following my, me on Instagram. You, um, If you want to follow on my crafting journey, I also posted there and I'll leave that information below. 
Um, so I pulled out a whole bunch of different types of ephemera um, pieces and I added this into this little pocket that I created. I used my fuse tool and so um, there are all types of beach essentials in here. So there's the little umbrella and the little sign and the, the little um, the chairs and something to drink and a little seagull. So tons of fun ephemera that you can use on the palm tree. And on the back of this tag I added, um, these are some, I believe Joe Lee's uh, coconut drinks Put on the back of that tag. This is my favorite Rick Rack topper from Jaded Blossom. And so I created a little topper to add this little magnet that I picked up at Tuesday morning. It says, I'm in a meeting. And she has her little um, glass and she's at the beach. It's really cute, really cute magnet. I picked one up for myself as well and one for Tara. So that's that one. Here's another shape sprinkle of all of the little cute little um, cocktail drinks that you can enjoy at the beach or at poolside. This is a little uh, Rick Rack topper. I, whenever I like to go to the beach, I like to listen to the waves, but sometimes um, music is always fun as well and at poolside. So this is a little music ephemera pieces from the collection and I put it on the Rick Rack topper so she can um, use it for her own project. Um, this is a little envelope that I created using the collection and I used a little Velcro and I added a whole bunch of different um, cut aparts and uh, this is from I believe last year's collection it was like a summer collection and the goal and the reason why it took so long in creating this project or finishing up this project was I wanted to use my Cricut a lot more uh, this summer. I I purchased my Cricut a couple of years ago and I haven't used it to its full advantage. So I had um, downloaded in April um, Lori Whitlock files. She has doodle bug files and she had a 50% off. So I downloaded a whole bunch of her files and my intention was to create using those cut files but unfortunately I didn't have a chance to to get to them except for this uh, flamingo one so um, these are some little doilies from uh, other doodle bug collections so it's a mishmash of different things that uh, she has in here that she can look through that flip and then so this is the um, this is the flamingo and I this is a little kit where I cut out some pieces for her where she can um, glue together to create this and here's another this one I found at Tuesday morning some lilac sprinkles and then um, I also purchased some washi, really, really cute washi tape that I found from Jamie's shop. And this is what it looks like. So I'm sending her the roll. And then the, these are just some, some trims and another little bow that I created with my Jaded Blossom um, on the back. So that is the tag flip. And because I really love the Rick Rack toppers. I had um, die cut a whole bunch for her and some of the colors and so I pa I packaged them in this little um, scallop caddy die. This is uh, what she can do with them. So I just uh, cut them out and just stuck them in here together so that uh, can have it accessible for any future projects. This is a Stamp Anything um, stamp 
and I will leave their information in the description box below. So my sweet friend Tina, the Scrappin' Rabbit, she is a design team member and I'm always ooing and aahing all her projects. So um, she had colored up um, this, I think this is called, pa she's Paige, Summertime Fun. And, um, and I really admired all of her coloring skills. So I decided to pull out my, I have some Copics, some Spectrum Noirs and some Primas. And I pulled out the colors that I did have and I tried to, to do a little coloring a couple of weekends ago. And so I fussy cut uh, her out and uh, this is a doodle bug paper and uh, created this little um, additional goodie for my, my friend. And what else? I think that's about it. Um, I have, Tara, I have your goodie, goodies packaged up here. And um, this is a little sneak peek. I have it almost fully loaded, but please head on over to her channel and um, check out her channel. She creates a lot of sweet projects and with the holidays coming up, some are wrapping up and the holidays coming up, I'm sure Tara will be creating on um, a set of awesome and amazing projects. So that's my project share for today. And thank you so much, Tara, for being extra patient with me again. I really appreciate you. Big hearts and hugs. So I hope you like everyone likes this project share if you did please give me a thumbs up and a comment if you'd like um, please subscribe if you want to um, see more projects in the future thanks for watching everyone bye